hit the record button and go. Let's see if this even gets to a good thing. People keep asking me, like, what about MK11 dying? Do you think that that's going to be bad? Should you change games? And actually, no, dude. It's made me double down. Because I don't think about... Here's the deal. I don't think about the world in terms of, like, the way the world was. I think about the world in terms of the way it's going to be. Okay? And in the future, right... We live in an age uh, like almost a post-scarcity age. This is going to get real philosophical real quick. Holy fuck. We live in a post-scarcity age, right? If I were a content creator 20 years ago, right, and may I made fucking my streams, right, and then I would have to press them on a DVD and then sell it at a store, and then eventually you sell out of DVDs and I have to make the budgetary decision of do I want to press more DVDs? To print more, will I make a profit or do I just stop pressing these DVDs? Then it goes out of print and then it's like, you know, now it's like lost to the sands of time. And it's not making you more money, right? But I, we live in a world beyond that, right? There's no, like, you won't be able to not buy Mortal Kombat 11. It's not going to go out of print. It's going to be here forever. Regardless of whether NetherRealm wants to support the game, Right? It doesn't matter if they come out with DLC ever again because there will always be new players learning and finding out about the game. You guys see it. Half of my chat right now is like people that are like, oh, man, I never bought a fighting game before. I bought this game because it was on sale for 12 bucks. Those people are going to constantly be looking for relevant content creators, right? Relevant content creators. Someone still making guides and still making tutorials and updating maybe you know there's a lot of people that did tech videos for mk11 they haven't updated any of that tech in like two years this doesn't even work anymore you know but when somebody who bought the game yesterday finds my channel and they're like oh he's still like he posted this an hour ago you know like this is relevant tech and so i think mk11 dying actually helped my game because a lot of people were on the fence because they were like, oh, I don't want to buy another realm game because they're going to come out with more season passes. I want the whole package. I want to get all the, the game of the year, right? And so that's what we have now, the game of the year. There's no more. That's it. So a lot of people who didn't jump on are jumping on now. They're like, now, this is the time. I get all the DLC, and you could probably get Ultimate for like 20 bucks, right? You could get that shit super cheap. So a lot of those people are going to buy Ultimate as the Game of the Year edition. They're going to get it cheap, and they're going to need a content creator. And here's the deal. This is the real kicker. That will never end. Think about that. All the other MK content creators, right? I don't make money off of the game. NetherRealm doesn't pay me to fucking play this game or do anything. So if they come out with a new game, I couldn't give two fucks less. If I like it, I'll play it. But if I don't, I can go back to MK11 because I know until the end of time, there will always be new people getting into MK11 because we live in a post-scarcity world where you can buy this game forever. It never goes out of print, so there will always be new people. There will always be new people looking for a content creator. And as long as I can maintain the viewership, right, as long as I don't lose viewers, my channel will grow exponentially forever until I die or stop. As long as I don't do some, like, fucked up shit, like, steal from my fans and completely ruin my channel, my channel will grow and become profitable until the end of time. All I have to do is just keep doing what I'm already doing. I don't even need to change, right? A lot of people are like, well, what about changing with the times? No, because I play the long game. If I change with the times, then my content and videos are irrelevant in a couple of months, right? All the people who invested into Among Us and, like, where, where the fuck? Is anybody still playing that shit? A little bit, but it's not like you're blowing up the world with that, right? But people that play Counter-Strike, League of Legends, old games, World of Warcraft, look at how powerful Asmongold was just moving from Warcraft to fucking Final Fantasy, you know? That shit, oh, Snell, uh, Snellrack wants a set? Yeah, dude, we'll get a set right on. But I'm saying, like, that shit, you know? That's the power of a, a long-term content creator. Asmongold is really only as big as he is because he's been doing it for as long as he has. He's just had the time to like build that audience. Even if you thought that he wasn't entertaining, it doesn't matter. He's been doing it long enough to where he's met enough people that do think he's entertaining. Um, so, like, you know, there's that. And MK11, you know, dying and going to video game heaven 
isn't really going to bother me. It, it will help me because I'll be competing with less people. There will be less people making Mortal Kombat content and more people every day getting interested in the game. Every day there will be somebody new. Let me see. What is Chaz saying? That's high key how I found your channel. I can't even lie. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Things are only as relevant as long as people care for the most part. But think about that, man. It's like when you're trying to do something in streaming, man. They always say, like, how do I fucking come up? Like, everybody has already done everything, right? I'm just another Let's Player. And that's why I think that a lot of fucking content creators just kind of suck. Because it's like, you got to get creative, man. You have to, like, you have to, like, think about shit, like, differently. He says, so in other words, you have no backup plan. See, that's the key. I don't need a backup plan. Even if I stop cool. streaming, my videos are still on YouTube forever. Toasty. Like, literally forever. Like, as long as I don't get demonetized and my channel, like, completely destroyed, I will make revenue off of those videos forever. Like, people aren't comprehending that. They're not comprehending, like, the new economics of YouTube, right? People that have been at it for a while are starting to understand right but that compound like this is the future dude this is the future to wealth if you're my age fuck stocks and fuck real estate man it's about making content that stands the test of time that's the real meta of youtube and that's the real meta of economics hold on let me fuck up let me fuck up sh fucking toad shrek's fucking shit real quick i'm gonna pick this dumbass character Oh, I pressed. I pressed. Don't do that. That's stupid. Here, let me get this auto shimmy. Ooh, I like it. Ooh, I try to wake up buttons. You really grabbed that shit. Did you really grab Misery Blade? I didn't even pay attention. I didn't even pay attention that you grabbed Misery Blade. What the fuck? Here, don't jump. You fucking idiot. Why the fuck? I told you don't jump. I literally said don't jump, and then you did it. Round two, fight. All right, back it up. Down four. Ooh, he did the plus frames. Here, let me get that. Let me get that. Let me just, oh, dude, I'm gonna mess that. I'm gonna mess that up. I'm gonna mess up my combo. You gotta hit me for that, man. God damn it. Thank you for the follow, but you scared me, and now I'm afraid. Welcome to the Trash Talk Temple. Here, let me do that. I'm going to just grab you and put you in this corner here. Stop running. Just get grabbed into the corner. I need you to stop moving around. It's obnoxious, and I don't like it. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, dude. Oi, oi. Stop, stop. Stop it. Stop it! Come on, Scrope! Hold on, hold on. Back it up. Oh, oh. Ooh, he got it. Here, I'm up three. Ooh, he got that too. Let me fatal blow through it. Why did you do spear at that range? I'm man. It's bad reads, Toad Trek. It's bad reads. It's bad reads, my man. Toad Savage. Here, here's what I'm gonna do. Since it's our first set, and we were already talking about something until you woefully interrupted us. Enjoy this tea bag friendship. Let's go back to what we were saying. Let's go back. Can I have a set? Toad Savage. Did he just cancel but still went into overhead? Uh, who, him? Oh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Maybe he did. He Maybe he trying to be, like, stupid and cute. I don't respect it, though. We just blow that shit up. How do you combo off Scorpions 4, 3, 4, custom blow consistently? For some reason, Teleport Spear never comes out. Oh, uh, you're 2 and one at the wrong time, bro. We were talking about the new meta of Twitch, you ass clowns. Let's see. Yeah, when Injustice 2 came out, I really wanted to like it. But it ended up just going back to MKX. I feel like that might happen again. I might get Injustice 3 or whatever and then go right back to MK11. And that's the thing is people will go back to MK11 forever. Forever people will go back. It's never going to end, right? That's why the people, the real smart, the real galaxy brain NRS content creators are the ones that never stopped doing content for MKX. Those guys... Because MKX, man, that's a free PlayStation Plus game if you have the PS5 or some shit, right? What the fuck? If you have a PS5 and you can get MKX for free. So, like, dude, our economics have nothing to do with game sales. All I have to do is make streams and content that people want to watch. And as long as people have an interest in the game, people will want to watch my content. I'm going to jump. 
Bro, oh, I can't do it, huh? I can't do nothing. Look, he really doing this dumb shit. Stop. Stop. Look. Look, he... He fucking up his plus frame. Let me stop talking. Let me try and beat his ass real quick. Don't come in. No, he didn't. No. Why did I do that like a fucking idiot? I thought he was gonna for sure fucking, uh... Anti-air me. Look, look. Oh, shit. I don't think this is gonna kill, but I'm gonna use it real quick. Because I want to make him jumpy. He's gonna, like, want to do some dumb shit. Because he's gonna be losing by a lot. Right? And I'm just gonna sit here and chill. And force this dumb shit. Yeah, back it up, buddy. Back it up. Right? See, I wanted to get him, like, to watch that whole thing and get mad. Think about the psychology of that, ladies and gentlemen. Get, think about that. Oh. oh, he delayed it. He's slow, slippery motherfucker. Here, don't press. Oh. No, no, stop that. Stop. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, he pressing. Don't press. Why? I'm like looking for flawless blocks trying to swag, but like he's so gunga. He's so unga and silly. Why would you do that, dude? There we go. There we go. Respect my wake up options. Respect my wake up options. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Reptilian Scorpion makes you confused. Well, uh, he's not going to pick anything but a green color. He's the Toad Shrek. He said, man, fingering it out. What do you mean, I'm figuring it out? Man, man, I do be figuring it out, man. I be fingering it out. Oh, you're talking about Shrek? Toad Shrek? Yeah, Toad Savage. He's just figuring out. He's just figuring out the scrope. Anyways, anyways, like, comment, and subscribe, assholes, if you think that's the new YouTube meta. But I'm telling you, things are going to change. 